Hello, can you see this tiny thing right there? That's the Saramonic Blink 900S. It's a wireless microphone system. We're gonna test it and review it here in Hammersmith, London. I'm gonna show you a tiny video I filmed in the area, but which I audio recorded in studio with the Saramonic Blink 900S, just to give you an idea of how it sounds in a studio environment. Hammersmith is one of the major districts of Greater London and can be found in West London, bordering Fulham, Chiswick, Shepherd's Bush and Kensington. Hammersmith developed as a Saxon fishing village and its name, which probably refers to the presence of a hammersmithy or forge, was first recorded in 1294. Leafy walking trails wind along the River Thames, which is spanned by the landmark Hammersmith Bridge, which, built in 1887, is one of the world's oldest suspension bridges. The river bank west of Hammersmith Bridge is lined with long-established inns, such as the Blue Anchor and the Dove, listed as the smallest bar room in the world. The pub was also frequented by Ernest Hemingway and Graham Greene. So what's the first impression? Drop a comment down here below. Also, I'm using the mic outdoors. If you've been following my channel, I like to do reviews outdoors because we can actually test the gear in real world conditions. And especially there's a bit of breeze. We're using a furry windshield. So let's see how that sounds as well. The Blink 900S works with 2.4 gigahertz frequencies, which are used all over the world and that's what someone asked me on youtube lately why choosing the 2.4 gigahertz frequencies instead of the uhf ultra high frequencies because certain countries use different ultra high frequencies so when you purchase one of those microphone systems you need to purchase it just for that country you can use it probably in other different countries but not all over the world while the 2.4 gigahertz frequencies are used again all over the place so you can just carry your microphone wherever you want right as i'm walking towards you so we test a bit of the distance range as well i want to do a kind of an unboxing just understanding what to find inside the box and first of all this is the ceremonic blink 900s2 which comes with two transmitters and one receiver they come inside a nice padded case Compared to other ceramonic microphones, this case is not chargeable. If you want to see uh, how that works, go and check my previous videos where I also reviewed the previous version of the ceramonic Blink 900. A charging case can actually be bought separately and I recommend to go and check the ceramonic website for more accessories. Then we will find three charging cables from USB-C to normal USB. Two for a windshield that you can place just on top of the mic for windy days or breezy days. Then we will find two different uh, mini jack cables. One for smartphones, TRS to TRRS, and one for uh, DSLRs and cameras and so on, which is a TRS to TRS. In terms of battery, battery life, we've got built-in batteries for each device. They last up to five hours. So plenty of time there for a day out of shooting if you have to do so or for a yeah, day, daily vlog. Talking about some of the features of this mic. So first of all, it comes already synced. So no pressure there for the uh, beginners. There's nothing you have to do. The mics are ready to go. But also you can pair them up later on if you have to reset them for, for any reason. In terms of distance range, on paper the mic can reach 200 meters, I mean receiver from the transmitter. And we're actually gonna test it out after this section. Then we have the professional feature, which I love, you guys must know by now, which is the selectable stereo and mono mode, which means we can record if we want to on two different channels. When we're using two microphones, it's 
advisable to do so. So we can have two different tracks that can be mixed in post-production. So if you have two people talking, definitely that's the way to go. We have a digital display on all the devices. On the transmitters though, it's very tiny and there's not much information there. Literally just if the uh, transmitter and receivers are synced and the battery level and that's it. The transmitters offer you a built-in microphone and bear in mind that's the only microphone you get in this set so with other kits you actually have the built-in microphone plus the lapel microphone that you can attach to the actual transmitter but on this you can't really attach any lapel or external microphone so keep that in mind on the transmitter we have an output for earphones headphones whatever just to live monitor your audio and all the three devices have a built magnetic clip so you can attach them to any metal surface let's talk about the dimensions and the weight as always so the aim for this microphone is the portability that's what it's built for so that's why they got rid of some of the other features like the possibility to attach a lapel mic because that's taking space so literally this is just about portability and size the dimension for the receiver which is the biggest device is 46 by 46 by 16.4 millimeters the weight is 35.5 grams the transmitters are 36 by 36 by 12.5 millimeters and they weight 19.5 grams for the price, as it changes over time, I recommend to go on the Ceramonic website or Amazon and I'm gonna leave the links down here in the description. So go and check it out. All right, guys, we're gonna do some distance range test. I'm not going up to 200 meters because that's what the uh, microphone is able, is capable to do. And you always want to face the camera just to avoid the you know, obstacles and um, yeah to cut the frequency basically so i'm just walking maybe 50 meters or so trying to go back see how far we can go also because in london people can steal your camera and i need to do some free running <laughs> after them after so uh, let's see where we can go anyway tiny microphone really nice and portable i'm probably already 30 meters away by the way so definitely recommend it for vloggers already i'm not sure about professional work possibly we're gonna check it out in studio I'm about 50 meters and can you still hear me lovely place here in Hammersmith once again if you pop by London it's a great place for pubs and uh, very residential as well but there you go I'm probably 70 meters away and I'm coming back to you guys so hope we didn't lose any signal at all can you still see me probably very very small in the frame go and check my website mamware.com for video editing video making courses a bit of graphic design in premiere pro as well if you're using that kind of software it's all there guys it's all there support my channel and yes it's subscribe right now so we are back let me know in the comment tab if you if you noticed anything weird any loss of signal as well there you go i'm gonna cut you off in a second what i'm gonna do now is to go in the studio check the video we just filmed here and then i'm gonna give you my feedback on the microphone how it works how it sounds if i recommend it back in the studio i've edited the review so i have an idea of how the microphone sounds and it worked and uh, um, i'm very happy with it Again, good product by Ceramonic. This is a collaboration with the brand, but still I'm not paid to say what they want me to say. So I'm literally reviewing, testing the microphone and giving you my feedback according to my experience. I didn't have any issue with it in terms of battery. The microphone ran all day. The sound was good. In terms of signal, I think we dropped the signal a couple of times during the distance range test, but because I was actually giving the back to the camera, so I was cutting the frequencies with my body, I was cutting the wave with my body, otherwise I think we 
wouldn't have had any problem in that either. Bear in mind I'm using the microphone right now for this very conclusion of the video. Then when I recorded in studio the voiceover for the video at the beginning of the vlog, I barely noticed some ambient noise. Literally just a tiny tiny bit but nothing that can affect your audio quality. In general I recommend the mic for again vloggers no problem about that actually it's a very good mic the portability of it is great it's pocket size so it's the smallest microphone i reviewed so far for professional work i think it can be used maybe even uh, by journalists actually studio environment for dual interviews what i was missing was the being able to use the lapel mic an external lapel mic but that's not what this microphone is built for so i can't really complain about that uh, and I've got different microphones that can do that. And actually, if you want to check different microphones and more professional mics, go and check my previous videos. Also, the V-Link 2 was a really good mic for me. Uh, definitely more professional with more options. Something I would add is the charging case. So again, uh, go on the website, Ceremonic website, to see if that's available, but it's something I would include with the product because I found it very helpful with the other versions of these microphones. Just being able to place the devices in your case and carry it around and be able to charge your microphones two or three times so you don't really need a socket if you are in the middle of nowhere, for example, if you're traveling or uh, doing documentaries, travel documentaries and that sort of things. I find it great also in terms of versatility because through the two different mini jack cables you can link it to any device, literally cameras, smartphones, laptops, anything with an audio interface. I'll give you an example, I'm doing some acting courses and acting lessons online and I use these microphones to talk to my coach and to perform online as well. So uh, it's great, useful if you're doing Zoom calls for work, all that sort of things that need better quality in terms of audio, I definitely recommend it. Once again, I drop the links of the product down here below. If you purchase through my link, I will get a tiny percentage of uh, as a commission. You will not be charged any extra, but you will help me in supporting my channel. So I hope the video helped and I hope to see you in my community. So hit subscribe right now. Go and follow me on Instagram at Mamo Air. And I will catch you in the next video with more reviews, tutorials, whatever is coming through, you will find it right here. Thanks for watching.